Good afternoon, everyone. This is Chaitali Bagh, Chief of Bureau with Aviation Defense Universe, reporting live <coughs> from Indian Defense Conclave 2022 at Dwarka. And <coughs> I'm standing with Dr. Shama Mohan Rajamohan, who is the Chief Strategist with Draeger. Draeger, which is a German company with a subsidiary in India, and we are here to talk to him more and know more about Draeger doing in India. Thank you so much, Dr. Rajamohan, to be with us at our, ch at our chat show. And let's start with... What is Draeger the, as a company, the solutions that you're providing? Yeah. Thank you, Chaitali, uh, for your quick introduction about me. Uh, so, talking about Draeger, Draeger is not a company which is unknown to India. We have been present in India for the last 60 years or so. Uh, earlier, we used to be a joint venture company with an uh, Indian organization, but from 2010 onwards, we came into India as a direct subsidiary of Draeger Germany. And we have two divisions. We have a safety division and we have a medical division. So we are representing here basically for the safety division of Draga in India. So we call it Draga Safety India Private Limited. That's a subsidiary for the safety division, right? In safety, we do anything and everything when it comes to human and asset as an infrastructure safety, right? And from a an, uh, defense perspective, if we speak about defense forces perspective, we have solutions from body protection to respiratory protection to advanced detection solution. That means we protect our forces, whether it is Navy, whether it is Air Force, whether it is uh, uh, other special forces, uh, with CBRM solutions, which is chemical, biological, nuclear, radiological uh, you know, uh, threats, CBRM threats. And uh, we have solutions ranging from uh, a respiratory to an, you know head protection. And we are a quite innovative company. So what we do is, uh, whatever we do is from the German technology. We uh, actually uh, have products with the top of the class technology incorporated in it. And we incorporated latest digital transformation stuff in our products, which includes uh, virtual reality, artificial intelligence, and uh, things like, uh, you know, cloud uh, computing and all these things when it comes to all our solutions with respect to defense forces and law enforcement. So that's what we do in a nutshell. Uh, from the medical side, yes, we do have certain solutions for medical, which is again applicable to the armed forces, like we have an emergency ventilator system, we have uh, anesthesia machines and other things, which can be also a big proposition in the defense industry as well. Right. The solutions that you talked about, they are a lot of companies which are through completely Indian and they are indig indigenization, indigenized products which are available here. So how does Draker as its solutions is able to compete with them? So coming back to the start uh, where I was talking to you, Draker is not new to India. We have been here for 60 years and we are also very well indigenized in India. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we are headquartered in Mumbai with the regional offices and headquarters, head offices, I mean corporate offices outside of our head office. And we do have a factory in Vasai, right. which is again in Mumbai around, uh, you can say, one hour drive from our mm -hmm. head office, where we do localization. So as an as an company, we are very much committed to the Make in India initiative, which is mm -hmm. the buzzword we are talking yeah. about since morning. And we are planning to bring in products where we will be doing 20, 50, 60 or 50 percent and above contribution moving forward, which is a key moving forward in defense industry. So we are very much an Indian company, though our roots are German. We are trying to be totally Indian and we are in the verge of becoming one of the most, uh, uh, you know, invested uh, uh, European company when it comes to safety uh, systems and bringing in the same class of German technology to the Indian uh, customers, which is different right. and other forces. So you, as you mentioned that you already have a setup in Vasai, the manufacturing unit. So the products which have been, the solutions that have been made there, are they completely indigenous? Are they completely based on the spare parts and everything are completely Indian or you have? No, no. So uh, we also started thinking to indigenize things in India from the last uh, four to five years. Again, with the push from the government of mm -hmm. India mm -hmm. and the vision of the Prime Minister of Atmanirbhar Bharat. Yeah. And that's how our principles, which is our head office, which is headquartered in Lübeck in Germany, they also think India is the biggest uh, destination for them. We They respect the Indian market a lot. And that's how we started baby steps. So we mm -hmm. started with certain products in our medical portfolio when to start with because that's the 
biggest chunk in our business. And recently, in the last one and a half years, we have started moving our safety products. So we have selected out of, say, we have 1,000 products in our company portfolio. We selected 5 to 10 products which we want to focus. And we have started with a you know, 20% plus uh, indigenization in India to get into the Make in India push. And the plan is, as we mature into this Make in India activity, to move from 20 to 50 and maybe 90 plus in the next right. three to four years. About your presence in Indian Defence Conclave, a conclave like this, how do you think these kind of conclaves make things easier for a company like Draker? Yeah, I mean, as I said, uh, for us, we are not alien to the Indian market. We have been here for some time. And uh, uh, for us, any conclave where we can actually meet the customer, that's the end user, we want to be there. Because these are the people who tell us what kind of a product they want, what are the challenges they face with the products they use currently, whether it is from us or even from our competitors. And these, these kind of events give us the first-hand view from the users on what is it they are looking for and what is the future they are planning to. So this gives us great insights when it comes to our future strategy as well. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Dr. Raja Mohan, to speak to us. And uh, we really expect and hope to meet you in more of these kind of countries and conferences Thank in the future. Much. And uh, we wish to sometime visit your uh, facility as Please well. Do. We to see you. Thank you so much and Thank all the best from you. Thanks. Thanks.